everyone, my name is Tony Derrick and welcome to the How To Craft Network studio. This is a fabulous studio where we always want to inspire our lovely crafty friends. In today's studio I'm going to use the fabulous standout stamp set. Now this is a corker, okay? This is a really impactive, positive stamp set that's going to make you really stand out from the crowd when using this one. And you're going to create some beautiful, beautiful cards. The sentiments are so positive as well. So let's have some fun. I'm so excited. I love the sort of positive, you know, you go get them girl sort of stamp designs. So I am going to use, first of all, let me just show you the stamp set. I have, if you can see, you have a large and a small. Now this small one is beautiful on the envelopes. This coordinates the design with your card if you want to. And then the larger one can be used on your cards as well. But today I'm going to use the smaller one on my card so I can get one of these lovely sentiments on there. So I'm just going to take the smaller one. I'm just going to pop it onto an acrylic block. And today I'm going to stamp these lovely feet and legs in a grey colour. So I'm stepping away from the traditional black and I'm going with a sort of smoky grey colour here today. So let's just bring in this piece of cardstock here. I'm just going to stamp them just about here. And then we get a beautiful, beautiful sketch design of the feet and legs. So also, I'm going to pick one of my favourite sentiments from the same set. And I'm just going to pop this on my block here. And I'm going to stamp this one out in black. So the sentiment really does speak volume on this card. I'm not going to tell you what it says until I've stamped it out. If you have this set, you will know straight away which one it is. People will stare, make it worth their while. There we go. Such a cool sentiment, really, really positive. So what I'm going to do with this one is, um, I'm just going to colour some of the design on here, not all of it, because sometimes if you colour it all, it looks really, um, really bright and bold. Whereas with me, I just like to add highlights and elements of colour, which sometimes for me looks clean and simpler because I am a clean and simple card maker. So I just have a lovely red alcohol marker here and I'm just colouring the base of the shoe. Now you'll all know the colour I'm colouring in it in. I'm just following the design up the base of the shoe here. And then the other shoe. We all dream of being able to walk in this style of shoe. <laughs> like so. So it looks already, looks really, really pretty. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a blue ink pad and I'm going to add some blue to the tops of her trousers to create the appearance of some jeans or some trousers. I've just got this blue and I'm just going to drop some blue into the legs. Like so. I'm not going to colour the whole design. I like to leave white spaces. Creates the illusion of light on the backs of the jeans there. Let's just make this a little bit darker down this side. But the sketch is such that it allows you to just drop that colour in and be really, really creative. There we go. It looks like she's got some trousers, some flowing trousers or some jeans on. So let's get this onto our card. Very, very simple. So I'm just going to grab my glue. And I'm just going to stick this onto the front of our card, which has got a beautiful sort of red coral matte and layer on there. Oops. 
and then once I'm happy the design is on there I'm just going to enhance it slightly now you can leave it like so but if you would like to add a little bit of detail you can go round with a fine liner pen and just add some creative detail around the edge just to frame the artwork and then once I've got one frame I'm going to go and repeat it and I'm going to try and stay off so they don't match repeat the process along all four sides And then I may add a little stitch detail here and there just to break up the solid lines. Now a creative way with these shoes is to add glossy accents to the base so it looks like she's got shiny base to her shoes. But either way, paint or nothing else, it is a really, really pretty card. If you are making cards for your local church or for an event or to raise funds or money, then this is going to be a great way to do so by just changing that colour. You can make so many different looking cards that really, really are going to stand out in a crowd. So I hope you liked today's inspiration. Please check out the rest of our videos. We have lots of inspiration using the fabulous products here at Stamps By Me. Have a beautiful day and take care. See you later. Bye.